Welcome back everybody, it is me Garmanza92 and we are back today with another Moto GP23 video. If you like this video please hit that thumbs up button and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, my content if you haven't subscribed already and if you do subscribe, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me, my channel and my videos and don't forget to hit that all important notification bell so that you don't miss any of them as they drop onto YouTube. So yes, we are back and continuing our Moto3 season on this Moto GP23 game, the next instalment in, of course, the uh, lovely Moto GP23 or Moto GP series that it is. So, we are currently sitting top of the standings at 127 points against uh, Jao Masia on 86 points. Um, I don't know if I can't really remember if we do have a rival at the moment or whether we have just completed. Um, our rival schedule. I believe we uh, the last one we had was I was going to say Ortola, and actually, this is the last one. So we've got to beat Taito Suzuki in this race as an extra uh, challenge, but we've got to be in front of the standings at Ivan Ortola uh, heading into the Dutch Grand Prix, which at the moment um, I think we're pretty much safe. I would have said we're over 25 points, so. We won't have any problem with the objective that we have, but it would be quite nice to be able to beat. It'd be quite nice to be able to beat uh, Taito Suzuki as well and complete that extra challenge. So let's head straight into the weekend. Then looks like it's going to be a dry one, which is uh, which is positive. Uh, I like Saxon Ring anyway, so in the dry we've got a relatively decent chance of doing quite well around here. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Like I said, I do like Saxon Rings. Uh, it's a brilliant circuit. It's obviously a cracking circuit for Mr. Mark Marquez. Undefeated here, because technically when he hasn't been doing very well, he hasn't raced here. But due to injuries mainly, due to injuries. So, Saxon Ring, here we are. As we load into the garage. So there we go, you can see it there. We've got the team objective to finish at the top ten. We've got the extra challenge there to beat Suzuki in the race and our key to success uh, objective there of finishing in front of Ivan Ortola in the standings, which we will do comfortably, I'm going to say. So we've got the soft front and the soft rear, which we are going to change. I'm going to go for the medium and the hard, like I usually do, just to try and get as many laps in as, many laps in as possible. So, I'm going to get out to track and see how we go on around these practice sessions. I will catch back in with everybody once we have finished practice and we are heading into qualifying. And hopefully, that being Q2. Okay, so, again, my uh, Streamlabs decided to have a little bit of a meltdown. So, we are straight into Q2 here. We are fifth quickest in the combined lap times. Now, our quickest lap was 127.8, which in the conditions helped, I think. The AI, however, are around a 127.4. Taito Suzuki was also on a 128, uh, 127.8. But yeah, the main sort of lap time that we're looking at, I think, is a 128.0. Seems to be the lap time that we can do without an issue. So, um, I mean, hopefully we can get better than that. I think the conditions may help in this qualifying two session. So, as you can see... I have a soft, soft fitted already that's slightly worn, so I'm going to go out on that for my initial for my initial first laps and see if we can get a bit of a bank lap in of a 128.0 or 127 point better. So um, yeah, I'm going to jump straight onto track. We do have a spare set of soft tyres. We've got two sets of soft tyres that we could use. And two sets of, uh, of rears as well. But I'd really like to use one rear for the race. Because I can't see the hot tyre doesn't heat up. I mean, there's, I haven't played this game for a fair while now. So there's potential that maybe there's been an update and they fixed it. I haven't seen anything. If they have, let me know in the comments, of course. But um, yeah, I'm sceptical about using the, hot, the hard tyre for now. So we've got the soft softs. I'm going to get straight out of track. Try and get a bit of a banker lap in. Let's see how we can get on in this Q2 session. Hopefully we can get front row, but I think it might be the second row. Okay, so as we come to the second to last corner, about to take over from the AI, we have had to change tyres. You can see there our first lap being a 128.5 and getting an invalid lap, so not great. 
although blocked by one of the KTMs that we were trying to get past at the time. We really need to pull someone out of the bag here. We got a 127.6 to attempt to beat here. As we get the bike in all different shapes and sizes coming into turn one, which isn't going to help me out at all. Only point one down on time though, not bad. Come on then, let's see what we're capable of here. Double left hander. And to give it a bit of a break there, run a little bit wide. Not great. Final corner time. final quarter and across the line with a 127.9 second place for now can't see us staying there we're going to give it one more lap just to see if we can shave any more time off of that but I think with that turn one I don't know if we've held that we might have held that okay so not the practice not the qualifying session we wanted we are sitting 11th on the grid not brilliant, but we are only half a second off of um, Diego Moreira. It's just that everybody else is about half a second off as well. The good news is we are in front of Suzuki. Bad news is Ivan Ortola is second. So we need to work some magic in the race here. I think that soft rear is gonna is gonna have to uh, have to be an option, especially considering the weather for this race, which looks. Looks promising for that soft rear, if I'm honest. We did keep trying to go out and break that uh, 127.9 that we managed to do, but in valid laps and stuff like that, we just kept messing ourselves up, getting caught up with other riders as well, which love getting in your way, even though they've only just come out of the pit lane. So that is what it is. Full fuel then. Medium front, soft rear. Let's do this. P11. Let's go. What are we on? The sixth row, so not a brilliant start. A lot of people going for a hard rear. Yamanaka joining us for the soft rear. Dennis Onchu choosing, jo uh, joining us for the soft rear. And so is Ricardo Rossi. A soft soft, I think that's a little bit ambitious. And Anna Caresco with a medium soft, picking up the rear there as well. So, here we go then, from the sixth row. Let's get a good start. Here at the Saxon Ring, everything's ready for the off. There we are, slap bang in the middle of the grid. Not the best position to be in, but let's do it. Okay, here we go. Clutch is in, revs are up. We're on power map in three for the start of this German Grand Prix. Not a bad start off the line. We're going to switch down to power map in two. Oh, my word. It's not ready for the AI to break there. Go up the inside of Munoz as we come around this double left hander. Yes, we can. We're up to seventh. We've got Kaito Tobu in front. Oh, that's a little bit early on the acceleration there. Oh, three wide coming into that left hander. Lovely overtake. I think I nudged my teammate there, so apologies for that one. We'll get round the left-hand side of the gas gas. Yes, we can. Move up to fifth. I don't think we're going to attempt to try and dive bomb Kaito Tabor into that corner. It's 
Slipstream of Kaito Toba now then. We're up into fifth. Comfortably up the inside of Kaito Toba there. Close down a little bit on Sasaki there. Closed on him a little bit more. Oh, sorry. Ivan Ortola taking Diego Marrera. Slight nudge from a Yumu Sasaki there. Right, Diego Herrera. End of lap two then. It is Ivan Ortola from Diego Herrera. And from us, we are up into the podium positions and currently sitting with the fastest lap of the race. So they might have the one lap speed that we don't. But at the moment, I am showing very good race pace and very good race craft, I have to say. Well, I messed that up slightly. Oh. Not want to be on that curb. We are gaining. To break a little bit there, Diego Moreira up the inside of Ivan Ortola then. Lost a lot of speed coming out of that corner, that wasn't the greatest. little bit too far back to make a move on Ivan Artola coming into that corner. Accelerated a little bit too early there. Trying to flick it to power map in three here. Just try and give me a little bit of an edge coming into turn one on Artola here. We go to make the move up the inside of Artola. We'll try and keep it around the outside but we'll cut that off. Up to second. Just pointing it out, Masia is now quickest with a 128.9. Mirera, we've got a much better line out of that corner. Let's come off the acceleration there, we weren't going to make that corner. Right, we have made the front. Stick to the right hand side, hoping that the AI pull to the left, which they do. As I now pull to the left.
We have actually pinched the fastest lap of the race from Jawan Messia now. 128.7. Oh my word. I'll take the track limits for that one because I thought we were going down then. No idea how I managed to save that, but we did. Okay, so we're actually seven temps up already here. Which I didn't expect us to have this sort of... Well, not, not even this race pace. I didn't expect the AI to have such a low race pace. But, saying that, in P1 we were quickest. Well, I would have said in P1 most people probably went out with their medium and their hards on. And then everyone was getting ready for qualifying and putting in their quickest laps. So, probably one of the reasons why they're a little bit slower around this race could be because of those medium and those hard rear tyres. We didn't opt for the hard rear. We opted for the soft, which I'm just looking at now with the last four laps of this Grand Prix left. The left-hand side of that rear tyre doesn't look very healthy, does it? And that isn't a very good Sector 1 from me. That is a pretty poor Sector 1. Much better line through there, though. That'll gain us some time. Fuel's still looking good, though. 0 0.6, so I'm happy with fuel. We should have plenty enough to see us for the rest of this Grand Prix. We are now starting lap 7s. We've got three laps left of this Grand Prix now. 1.1 second is the lead. We have no idea how we've managed to get this sort of lead. I think it's helping that the AI is battling with each other because... Sasaki, Marrera, Kaito Toba, and Ivan Artola seem to be battling. Diego Marrera was the one we overtook for the lead, so. Kaito Toba has now taken second place. Just noticed that Messier is also taking the fastest lap of the race as he overtakes Diego Marrera. Whether he did that in the lap where he got the fastest lap of the race or whether that was his catcher lap. We approach the final corner, however, to come up the hill and across the line, starting our penultimate lap of this German Grand Prix with still a 1.1 second lead so we are made and managing to manage that gap of 1.1 seconds quite nicely as I'm trying to be a little bit more tentative with that rear soft tire in these left handers Not using my rear brake as we go around these left handers either. Messiah has broken everybody here. Oh dear. And made it through to second place as we pick up a track limits warning for that one, which we rightfully should do.
with that battle in. It's a 1.2 second lead now. I can't really remember what tyres Messiah chose, but it wouldn't surprise me if he chose the medium and the soft. The gap is now 1.2, so we gained a tenth on that lap with Messiah coming through the field. It wouldn't surprise me if on this final lap he manages to close that gap down a little bit. Oh! Nearly lost that. So tyres tires do still feel okay. I was expecting a little bit of a drop off by now. I know we haven't used the uh, we haven't used the rear tyre or rear brake as much because of that rear tyre. So maybe that's prolonged the life a little bit more. Okay, pick up another track. Let's warn him. That doesn't matter. Not really concerned. For some reason, you don't get the same penalty as what you would do in real life, where you have to drop a place. So, we see, it did close that gap down by quite a bit. Half a second he's closed that gap down to, so he's, uh, he's gained nearly six tenths of a second on us on that lap so well done to Jarmus here and of course he pulled them with him so we do take the win which I didn't think I was going to get during qualifying I didn't think we were going to be quick enough so very very happy with that one Messiah obviously picking up the best lap of the race but we do beat our teammate and of course we also beat Taito Suzuki which was one of our extras uh, unfortunately, that does mean that the Leopard team have let for, or lit, are still in front and probably increased their lead by 13 or to 13 points. So we celebrate with our team in Park Ferme again. We celebrate our team. We celebrate with our team. So we did get all of the extras there, so that's pretty good, uh, gaining us a little bit more reputation. We've got a turning point here now, so we've got Spark of Pride and One Step at a Time. Which are we going to get? We're going to get One Step at a Time. And our rival being... Is that Autola again? I believe it is. It is Autola again, so we're going to have another three races to try and beat the same person. Uh, Sam's performance is convincing CF Moto. Finishing the race in front of Ivan Ortola might result in additional support from the manufacturer. So we've got to beat Ivan Ortola one more time in the next Assen Grand Prix, which is normally a bogey track for myself, so not ideal. So we got Tai Suzuki. I didn't expect the level of performance from S Garmin. They changed. They changed out on the track and almost seemed to know what they are doing. Thanks. Uh, hey, don't take it to heart. I certainly, you'll, it'll certainly go better next time. It was a good challenge. We're going to go with that because we don't mind. We don't mind Suzuki. Uh, and I know very, a little bit. Ivan Ortola has got a great victory for S. Garmin. I'll have to try to see what went wrong with the team so we can recover already at Assen. Winning always feels incredible. I just hope I can keep this up, keep this streak of good results. This win is a result for the team's hard work. I don't think there's anyone who can challenge us. I'm not going to say that because for some reason that's a bad thing. And we uh, we do like we do quite like uh, Ivan Ortola as well. So we're going to try and keep him a little bit more happy. So there we are. That is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed today's Grand Prix and the German Saxon Ring circuit. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and my content if you haven't subscribed already and if you do subscribe thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me my channel and my videos and don't forget to hit that all important notification bell so that you don't miss any of them as they drop onto YouTube and I shall see you all in the next video